What's up, witches? So I'll keep this quick, because it's honestly not that complicated of a story, but I have a little story time for you about the time that I made a potion glow, which is like such, like the epitome of witchcraft, is making something glow. So I remember this was back probably like 10 years ago. It was a long time ago, back when I was living with my mother. And I just remember feeling very negative, like there was a lot of negative energy around me in the air and in the walls. Like I just felt like the house had bad juju in it. And so what I did was I made a potion and I just threw a few things in it. I remember what I put in it. I remember what I put in it. There were rose petals, salt and cinnamon powder. And I was just letting it boil and boil. And the intention was that as the potion boils and releases the steam into the air, it's releasing positive energy just because I was I was trying to get rid of all that negativity that I was feeling and sensing around me. So, and I noticed, because every now and then I would go and stir it clockwise. And I remember eventually as time went on, I noticed it started to glow. And the longer it cooked on the, um, on the stove, the more it glowed. Now, it was never, it never got to the point that it was like blinding light. I wouldn't say that. But I remember thinking, is this all in my head? Like, you know, what's happening? So I remember I turned the kitchen light out and I, I looked at, and there was still light coming in from another room, but it was still pretty dark in there. And the potion really was glowing pretty significantly. And the, the color was like um, a purpley kind of maroon kind of color that it was glowing. Which, I don't know. I mean, the cinnamon was brown. The rose petals were red. So that kind of makes sense, I guess, that it would be glowing like a red color. But it really was. There was light coming um, out of it. And so I would recommend trying that potion. I mean, even since then, I've made potions that did glow a little bit. But nothing glowed as much as that potion back um, at my mom's house. But in I would say try that. Next time... Next time you're feeling very negative energy, just go to the stove, put, put a pot of water on the stove, bring it to a boil, and then start adding different flower petals and spices and put intention into it. And your intention is to release positivity and angelic energies into, the, into your home. And more often than not, if you really look at the potion closely, I mean, don't get too close to it, a fucking boiling potion, but... You know, if you look at it, it really will appear to be glowing. And I think there's, there's definitely something to that. But I've never, be, I've never been able to recreate that one instance back when I was in my early 20s at my, at my mom's house. But I just wanted to tell you this story because it was really fascinating. And I did feel a lot better from the potion. It's something that really always works. If you're feeling depressed or anxious or whatever, go make a potion. Um, and it does, potions don't necessarily have to be something that you drink. They can simply be something just bringing certain things in a pot to a boil and then letting that aroma fill your, ho uh, fill your house. I remember something I used to do was a grounding potion, which I would boil some water and then I would add a good amount of cinnamon powder and, or ground cinnamon. And... That was to create a grounding energy in the house um, to kind of bring, bring me back down to earth, which is a great potion too. But that potion, that cinnamon potion is very tricky because it, it, it could be boiling on the stove for like an hour with, and you'll have no issues. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it fucking bubbles up and boils over and makes a huge mess on the stovetop. It's a very strange potion. That cinnamon potion is so bizarre because... One time you could make it, and it could boil perfectly fine for an hour, and you'll have no problems. And then all of a sudden, you boil it one time for five minutes, and it makes a mess. So it's a little tricky. That's like, a, I don't know what it is about that potion, but it's very, like, temperamental. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you about the time that I made a potion glow. So try it out. Um, witchcraft is about having fun and having wild, witchy, magical experiences. And that's what it's all about, which is something I'm going to try to get more into in the future. Um, I do spells and I, I try to manifest things, but I never really take time to have really true, crazy experiences. 
you know, stare into your scrying mirror until you really see something. Don't give up until you see something. Or stare into a crystal ball until you really truly have a vision. Or invoke the spirit. Oh, that's another video I'm going to make uh, today is the time that I invoke the spirit. Which I've probably done many times, but t many times, but there was one time in particular that it was pretty wild. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Check the description for all my links, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.